Hello everyone. Welcome to video lecture series from Shivananda Sharma Memorial RV College. Shivananda Sharma Memorial RV College, one of the premier institutions run by the prestigious RV group of institution, has come up with a unique initiative to engage students at the time of this unforeseen medical emergency caused by corona outbreak. As a socially responsible institution, we would like to connect academically with students to make good the losses caused. In this connection, I, Shakila, Assistant Professor from Department of Commerce, have posted a video on the subject International Auditing and Assurance for the topic Computer Assisted Audit Techniques, CAT. Please watch the video till the end. Like, share and hit the subscribe button to be notified whenever we post new videos. In this video, we will cover the following topics. A brief introduction on CAT, CAT categories, audit software, test data, advantages of CAT, disadvantages of CAT. Introduction Today, there is no organization that does not use computer system software for recording accounting transactions. Computer assisted audit tools and techniques are a growing field within the information technology audit profession. CAT includes basic office productivity software such as spreadsheet, word processors, text editing program and more advanced software packages involving statistical analysis and business intelligence CAT are the practice of using computers to automate the information technology based auditing processes. There may be some transactions wrongfully recorded causing errors in recording. Some fraudulent transactions might have been recorded as well. In such defective recording, it will be very difficult for an auditor to conduct manual audit. This has led to the emergence of CAT. With the help of CAT tools, auditor can provide better analysis and work in a more efficient manner. With the help of CAT, more forensic accounting analysis can be done. It is called as investigative accounting. Forensic accounting is a scientific way of accounting. It is used to uncover fraud, find evidence and present it in the court of law if required. There are two approaches to CAT. First, black box approach. It is also called traditional approach. Here the auditor concentrates on input and output and he ignores the actual data processing that happens within the software. Hence it is auditing around the computer. Second, the white box approach it is called as modern approach. Here, the auditor needs to know internal logic of software. Thus, it is a white box approach. That is, an auditor can have control over computerized database and control over unauthorized access to computers if required. There are two phases in CAT. First, test data and second, audit software. Phase 1, test data. 
Test data can be real data and dummy data from accounting files. The objective is to test the audit system for reliability and correctness. Test data includes valid and invalid test conditions with input data, expected results and actual results being compared. This way, auditor decides whether application controls are operating properly or not. For example, test data includes codes that do not exist in the system for customer, supplier or employee. Another example for test data is transactions above limit, salaries above the contracted amount, credit below agreed limit, etc. For such invalid data, the result must be negative. If so, the auditor can conclude that the application is behaving as per expected results. If data is processed during normal operation cycle, it is called live test data. If data is processed outside normal operation cycle, it is called dead test data. Audit software phase 2. Audit software are computer program designed to assist in examining and testing clients accounting records. Audit software can be packaged or customized as per client's requirement. Audit software is used to audit huge and complex transactions. Now let us see why auditor uses audit software. Audit software can be used for any of the following reasons. First, extracting data as per criteria, such as checking data at random, examining data over a threshold, examining data under any threshold, check data for specific date or time period. Second, benchmarking, that is calculating ratios and selecting indicators that have failed to meet the criteria. Third, it will check calculations such as additions, multiplication, division, deduction, percentage, etc. Fourth, prepare comparative reports that is estimated versus actuals and any other formats as required by auditor. Fifth, stratification of data that is classification of data such as invoice of different bases like customer age etc. Sixth, produce different types of letters to send out to the client's customers. Seventh, tracing transaction through the computerized system. Let's look at some of the advantages of CAT. First, CAT enables auditors to comply with international standard on auditing, obtaining appropriate audit evidence, increasing the overall confidence on the audit. The second advantage on the slide means that the information technology application controls can be used to assess control risk and design further audit procedures. Let's look at the third advantage. CAT increases the correctness of audit test. Finally, we can perform audit test more efficiently, which in the long term will result in more cost effective audit. Here are some disadvantages of CAT. 
Cats can be expensive and time consuming to set up. The software must either be purchased or designed, in which case the specialist IT staff will be needed. The second disadvantage, client permission and cooperation may be difficult to obtain. Third, potential incompatibility with the client's existing computer system. Fourth, the audit team may not have sufficient IT skills and knowledge to create the complex data extracts and programming required. Fifth, the audit team may not have the knowledge or training needed to understand the results of the CATS. Finally, data may be corrupted or lost during the application of CATS. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be alerted when we post the next video. Thank you for watching.